It seems likely that methane was the spark for life on Earth 3.5 billion years ago. There was about 1,000 times as much methane in the atmosphere as there is now. Because Earth's earliest life appeared during this time of a methane-rich environment, it's almost a given that methane was the first step of the creation of biochemical pathways on this planet. In the Miller-Urey experiment, simulations of a methane-rich ocean produced amino acids and other organic compounds like formaldehyde and cyanide, which contributed to the creation of abiotic molecules years later. In 2009, NASA funded a mission to the Mid-Cayman Rise, one of Earth's deepest and slowest spreading ocean ridges, a natural source of current circulation from hydrothermal vents. The Mid-Cayman Rise is located in the Caribbean and is believed to be home to some of Earth's earliest prebiotic materials. The standing theory was that methane was produced from these chemical reactions of hydrogen and carbon dioxide inside these deep-sea hydrothermal vents. However, recent studies suggest that methane was not the key contributor to the rise of Earth's earliest biochemical pathways. Instead, the reaction of hydrogen and carbon dioxide produced a chemical compound called formate. Scientists found that at the vent sites, the amount of formate created matched the amount of carbon dioxide exactly. The amount of formate also matched the amount of formate that was predicted by previous models. But if formate was created in the hydrothermal vents, then where did the methane come from? Deep beneath the sea floor, a reaction between carbon dioxide and water produced methane. The methane was trapped for thousands of years within cooling volcanic rocks in the Earth's crust and it wasn't until tectonic plate shifting allowed the methane to diffuse out that it was circulated onto the seafloor by hydrothermal vent currents. But how, exactly, was this determined? The radiocarbon dating of methane was so much older than the radiocarbon dating of the carbon dioxide found at the vents that the methane was considered radiocarbon dead, meaning that it carried no modern signature and came from ancient geological sources. While methane may be a contributor to the creation of Earth's earliest organisms, formate was another spark for biochemical pathways on early Earth and may have served as the first step in creating reduced carbon compounds.